Good day everyone, welcome back to SLRTC Nationwide or Gurung Pinoy. If this is your first time to see our video, please follow us on Facebook. Click the thumbs up sign, that's SLRTC Nationwide on Facebook. On YouTube, we are Gurung Pinoy. Again, if this is your first time to watch one of our videos, this video again is about clerical reasoning, rules, samples, and explanations. Please make sure that you follow us on Facebook at SLRTC Nationwide or YouTube Gurung Pinoy so that you'll be notified of the next videos that we have. If you want a copy of this material that we have here today, make sure that you leave a comment in our comment box. You can also comment some of the topics that you'd want us to cover next. Again, this is clerical reasoning, rules, samples, and explanations. Once again, kung gusto niyo po ng kopya ng ating material na ito, ay maaari lamang mag-comment sa ating comment box, mag-leave na message dyan, or po pwede din namang i-message nyo or i-comment nyo kung anong topics ang gusto niyong i-cover namin. Okay, so we start with the rules that we have for clerical reasoning. First, clerical alphabetizing rules. If you are given the title plus the full name, okay, pag binigyan kayo ng title plus full name ng isang tao, when you alphabetize it, what you, you write first would be the last name followed by the first name or the initial followed by the middle name or the middle initial followed by the title. Okay, for example, if you have attorney Samuel P. Hernandez, this is going to be filed as Hernandez Samuel P. Attorney. So again, yung nauuna po ay yung last name or family name, followed by the first name, then the middle initial, and the title. Okay, so that's our first rule for clerical alphabetizing. The second rule that we have here says, if you are given the title plus the first or just the last name, then you file it as written. Okay, so that means kung title lang po, plus first or last name only, hindi full name, then you file it as is. For example, if you have Princess Diana, okay, that's just a title and a first name, you file it as Princess Diana. If you are given just father, which is a title, and the last name, which is Suarez, then you file it as is. That's Father Suarez. Okay, so that's our second rule for clerical alphabetizing. We go to rule number three. Spell out abbreviations. Pag meron pong abbreviations, yung mga dinaglat na mga terms or dinaglat na mga pangalan, eh, you need to spell them out. For example, you have Dexter St. Mark. This should be filed as St. Mark Dexter. Kung inyo pong napapansin, nauuna pa rin ang ating last name. Okay? So, palagi nauuna yung last name followed by the first name. So, again, that's St. Mark you spell it out, you spell out your abbreviation, so that's St. Mark Dexter. Nauuna yung last name followed by the first name. We go to rule number four. Uppercase and lowercase are treated similarly. When you say uppercase, capital letters, and lowercase or small letters are treated similarly. Okay, for example, you have McDonald which is just the same as McDonald. Kung napapansin po ninyo, yung letter D dito ay capitalized or we're using uppercase letter. Dito naman po, it's small letter. Okay? But they are treated in the same way. They're, they are treated similarly. So, wala pong pagkakaiba. McDonald is just the same as McDonald with small letter D. We go to rule number five. If business name contains names of persons, apply filing rules for names of person. Okay, so kung ang pangalan po ng business name or yung pangalan po ng isang business ay may name ng person, we need to file it as the name of the person. Okay, we check our example here. If you have Josefina S. Soriano Memorial Hospital, okay, napapansin nyo, meron tayong pangalan ng tao dito. So ito po ay file as Soriano Nauuna pa rin yung last name, Josefina, the first name, middle initial, then Memorial Hospital. Okay, so that's still going to be filed as, uh, or according to the rule of filing of the names. So, Soriano, Josefina, S. Memorial Hospital. We go to the sixth alphabetizing rule. Number six, small words such as the, of, or for, are not considered in alphabetizing. So for example, your name of the shop is the small shop. This is just filed as small shop the. 
Okay? So, yung mga maliliit na words like the, of, or for ay hindi po binibigyan ng gaanong emphasis. Okay? So, again, this is just going to be filed as small shop the. We go to our next rule. Number seven, spell out numerals. If you have numbers in your names, such as 51st Avenue, this is going to be filed as 51st Avenue. That means you need to spell out the numbers. Hindi po pwedeng nasa numbers lang sila, so kailangan mong isulat in words ang iyong mga numbers. So that is going to be filed as 51st Avenue. Next rule. Businesses with the same names are filed according to their location. Pagpareho po yung pangalan ng isang nung, nung maraming businesses, ng maraming buildings, then ipafile po sila according sa kanilang location. For example, you have SM City Batangas and SM City Iloilo. Since pareho po ang kanilang pangalan, ipafile nyo po sila depende sa kanilang location. So you have Batangas and you have Iloilo. So, sinasabi ng atin ng example, SM City Batangas comes before SM City Iloilo. Okay? So, this is going to be filed first before SM City Iloilo. Next rule. Government departments are filed according to their purpose. Okay? So, depende po sa purpose ng ating government department. For example, you have education or Department of Education at meron kang Department of Finance. You file this as Education Department of and Finance Department of. So, mas mauuna po yung Education Department of kaysa sa Finance Department of. So, hindi nyo po siya file na nagsisimula sa letter D. Okay? Or as, as in Department, magsisimula po siya sa letter E at sa letter F. Depende po sa purpose or sa gamit ng naturang department. Clerical reasoning po is part of the sub-professional level of civil service examination. Sometimes this may also come out in some entrance exams. Rule number 10. Initials come before longer names. Okay, for example, you have Castro A and you have Castro Ana. Okay, pag initial lang po, pareho po silang nagsisimula sa letter A. This one is just letter A as is, just initial. This one naman, you have a full first name, which is Anna. Okay, so yung initial po would be filed before the longer name. Number 11, hyphenated names are filed as one. Ano po ba yung tinatawag nating hyphen? When you say hyphen, these are the dash. Okay, so hyphenated names, ang mga pangalang may dash, are filed as one. Example, Mac dash Kenzie is just filed as Mackenzie. Okay, so nawawala po yung dash, ini neglect, ini ignore yung dash. Hindi po natin binibigyan pansin or emphasis yung dash. Mac dash Kenzie is just filed as Mackenzie. Okay, sample item number one. You have A to E. Octaviano Cristel, Octal Joel, Octaviano Cynthia, Octa Gerald, and Octo Jimmy. Now, kung inyo pong mapapansin ang ating items dito, ang A, B, C, D, at E, ay pare-pareho lamang po yung format. Lahat sila ay just last name plus first name. So, hindi masyadong mahirap i-alphabetize kasi nga isa lang yung format natin. So, we just use our rules for alphabetizing our names. Okay? So, nakikita natin, this this one has Octa. Okay? This is Octa. This is also Octa. Lahat sila ay nagsisimula sa Octa. Okay? Octa. Now, this one is Octo. So, that means, ito po na po yung magiging huli natin. Okay? Since lahat, all the rest are just Octa, 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 Octa. But letter E has Octo. Okay? Now, this is Octaviano. The next letter is V. The next letter for letter letter B is L. This one is also Octaviano. But this one has no other letters. Okay, so Octa lang siya. So which means letter D would be the first name that we file. Okay, so kung inyong tinitingnan ng ating choices, you have number 1 which starts to letter E. Number 2 starts to letter D. Number 3 starts to letter B. 4 also start to letter D and 5 start to letter B which means sabi nga natin sa pagpa-file ng names mauuna yung Octa okay so Octa Gerald would be the first one which means that choices 1 3 and 5 should already be neglected 
okay? We should already uh, neglect or avoid choosing this or as our correct answers because this shouldn't be the correct answer. Okay, now we already said that no, letter E should be the last one, okay? So we check number two and number four. Pareho po silang ending with letter E. So that means safe, okay? Both of them can still be our correct answer. We check the second letter that we have here in our choices. Pareho silang B, okay? So this one means letter B here should be the second name that we file. Now, nagkakaiba sila sa third, third letter, Okay, yung number two mo is, is your B is followed by letter C. For number four, letter B is followed by letter A. Okay, so we check A and C. Titingnan natin kung saan mauuna. Is it letter A or letter C? Now, both of them are Octaviano. Letter A mo is Octaviano. Letter C mo is also Octaviano. But this one starts with letter K for the first name. That's Christelle. The other one... Letter C mo starts with the letter C, which means that this should be our choice. Okay, so that should be D, B, C. Okay, now this one, number four mo is D, B, A. So that means this is the wrong answer. So correct answer for this one would be number two. Okay, number two should be the correct answer. Now we go to sample item number two. You have Sister Rose, Father Alain Bisikat. Princess Kelly, Mayor Bert K. Montenegro, and Dr. Valencia. Kung inyo pong napapansin, iba-iba po yung format ng ating uh, mga, mga given items. So yung Sister Rose dito, you are given just the title and the first name. So this means we file this as is. So we look at the first letter there, which is S, S okay, or S-I-S. Now, letter B mo is Father Alain Bisikat. Which means that this is title and full name. Sabi po ng rule number one natin kanina, you file this as Sikat Alain B, Father. Okay? So that means ito po yung ating basis ng pagpa-file. Okay? The last name should be our basis. Now, letter C mo is the same as letter A. This is just title plus first name. Which means that we file this as, as is. So, Princess Kelly. Letter D is the same as letter B. You have a title and you also have a full name. Which means that we file this as Montenegro, Bert K, Mayor. Montenegro, Bert K, Mayor. So that means ito po yung ating basis for filing. Montenegro, dito tayo mag-uumpisa. Now the last one is the same as A and C. You have a title and the last name. So this should be filed as Dr. Valencia. So, Dr. Valencia. So, kung inyo pong napapansin, ang ating filing would be based on SIS, SIK, PRI, then you have MON, and you have DR. Okay? Which means, na yung mauuna should be letter E. Okay? Letter E should be the first letter. Now, we check our items. Number one has letter E. Number two has letter B. So, we can just ignore this. Number three starts with letter A, so we can just ignore this or eliminate this. Number four has letter B, so eliminate this. And number five starts with letter C, so we also eliminate this. So that means number one is already our answer. Okay, so number one po ang ating answer. Now we go to sample problem number three. You have Abad Ivan P, Abaka Rodel, Abakahin Derek, Abakan Lilef. Abada Ruby D. Okay, so kung inyo pong napapansin, meron tayong last names followed by the first names and my middle initial yung iba, yung iba naman wala. Okay, so we look at the last names first. Okay, so last name muna tayo. This is lahat sila ay may aba. Okay, lahat sila may aba. And then you have uh, three that has ka. Okay, so ka... Kahin and Kan. Okay, so this means na yung mauuna natin should be letter B. Okay, because it only has Abaka Rodel. Okay, wala nang ibang letters after Abaka. So letter B should be the first letter 
This one, number one, has letter A as the first letter, so we eliminate this. Number two has letter D as the first letter, eliminate. Number three has B. Okay, so that's that's fine. That's according to our according to our rules. That's correct. Number four starts with letter E, so we eliminate this. And number five starts with letter D, so we eliminate this. Which means that number three should be your answer. Okay, so number three po should be your answer. Next sample item, you have number four, Tan Patricia D, Fernandez Christopher J, Cruz Mildred P, Ignacio Ana Sofia R. Vitug Luis U. Okay, so as you can see, this is all last name plus first name plus middle initial. So we file this by looking at the last names. Okay, so last name muna tayo. Walang magkakaparehong letters. So this is going to be very easy. The first one, of course, would be letter C. So letter C should be number one. Okay, so this has letter C. So Pwedeng siya yung correct answer natin. Number 2 starts with letter B, so we eliminate this. Number 3 starts with letter D, eliminate. Number 4 starts with letter C, so pwedeng correct answer siya. Number 5 starts with letter D, so eliminate. Okay? Now, tingnan natin pagkakaiba ng 1 to 4, which are our remaining options. Number 1 mo, yung susunod na letter is B. Okay? So, this one. Ang number 4 mo naman, yung susunod na letter is D. Okay, so this one. Now, they both have different letters. This one starts with letter F, and this one starts with letter I. So, ano bang nauuna sa alphabet natin? Is it letter F or letter I? Correct answer, of course, would be Fernandez. Okay, so this one should be the second letter, which means that number one is the correct answer. Okay, so we eliminate this. Number one there should be the correct answer. Now, we go to our last sample item. You have Tabernilia Lorna, Tabernilia Lorna E, Tabernila John, Tabernilia John Philip, Tabernila OS. Na kung inyo pong napapansin, ang C po ay Tabernila, hindi Tabernilia. The same thing with letter E. It's Tabernila, e isang L, hindi po Tabernilia. Okay, so nakikita nyo, this is Tabernila, this is also Tabernila. This one starts with letter J, ito naman ay nag-uumpisa nag sa letter O. So that means letter C should be the first first name that we filed. That's Tabernila John. Kahit sabihin mong letter E mo, letter E only has initials, pero syempre sa alphabet, nauuna po yung J sa O. So, hindi natin pwedeng sabihin na O yung mauna. Okay? So, letter C should be the first one. Alright. So, this this choice here starts with letter C. So, that can still be the correct answer. This one also starts with letter C. That's That can still be the correct answer. This one is wrong. That's wrong. And this is wrong. So, we're down to our last two choices. Okay? Now, they have different second letters. Number one here starts with letter B. Uh, is letter B. Number two mo naman is letter E. Now, I think it's pretty obvious based on our choices, the second name that we file should be letter E. Okay, so that means number two is your correct answer. Alright, so ganyan po kung paano tayo mag-answer ng alphabetization sa clerical reasoning for sub-professional level of civil service examination. Sometimes this would also come out in the entrance exams. Okay, so again, if you want a copy of this material here sent to you through Messenger or maybe through your email address, then just leave a comment in the comment box. If there is some topic that you'd want us to cover, also write that in the comment box. Make sure that you like us on Facebook, that's SLRTC Nationwide, and follow us or subscribe to our YouTube channel, Gurung Pinoy. Okay, so again, this is Gurung Pinoy na nagsasabing maliit man na butil ng mga kaalaman ang dulo nito ay malaking kaginhawaan. Maraming salamat po.